In this activity, we'll be looking at a test for astigmatism. Now, astigmatism is due to the uneven curvature of the eye, and so some parts of the visual field will be in focus, while other parts of the visual field will be out of focus. Now, we can examine for astigmatism by using a chart such as this, which has a series of radiating lines at different angles, and depending on your type of astigmatism, different lines will appear in or out of focus. If any lines are blurry or faint, then note the angle, and this is the axis of your astigmatism as described in step two of the methods for this activity. For a normal sighted person, all the lines will appear in focus, and so to simulate astigmatism, we'll use a special lens that has an irregular curvature. So following step three in the instructions then, look at the chart using the lens. Are any of the lines fuzzy or out of focus? In which case, make a note of the angle. Then rotate the lens and see whether the axis of out of focus lines change. Here you can see what the chart looks like when viewed through the astigmatism lens. Now at the moment the lens is oriented vertically. I'm not going to say what I see, but have a look at this image and see which lines you think are more or less blurred. If any of the lines are blurred, then make a note of which angles you think are affected. Now we'll rotate the lens through 45 degrees counterclockwise. We've now completed the rotation. Did you notice any changes in the focus of the lines? In which case, make a note. Now the lens is oriented vertically again, and we're going to rotate the lens clockwise 180 degrees. Once again, did you notice any change in which lines became blurry? In which case, make a note. Now the lens is oriented vertically again, and we're going to go clockwise 90 degrees. Make a note of any changes that you see. And lastly, we're going to go counterclockwise from upside down this time, back 180 degrees up to vertical. Next, have a go at the three tutorial questions for this activity before progressing on to activity three.